So we always put some numbing solution before every procedure to minimize the discomfort. Then we draw the shape of the eyebrows. I don't use stencils like some people do. I find stencils very fake looking. So everything that I do is freehand. Everybody has different face features. Some people like it higher, some people like it lower, longer, shorter, straighter. So we work together in order to create that perfect shape. So here I'm doing the drawing with the client laying on the bed, but later on we're going to sit up and double check on everything. So you get to see the shape before I do anything. When I draw you see the outline like this, but later on you will not have that outline. We're going to do the hair strokes technique. So the client here wants the, her eyebrows a little bit thicker than what she had before and longer as well. So now she's going to uh, double check on the shape, making sure that she likes it. So she's okay. We're going to do the hair stroke simulation. This is the softest and the most popular technique for eyebrows. So I tattoo little hair one by one, little strokes one by one. It's very fine line. It looks very nice and soft. People from the distance think will think it's your real eyebrows. They won't know it's fake. That's how natural they look. So we connect the bottom, the bottom line and the top line. This technique is very popular, um, starting the 90s, in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s. The uh, old way was the pencil line, the solid pencil line, but I don't like it too much. It looks very fake. It looks like, like makeup. This technique here is much softer and more natural. That's what I do the most. Some people might call it different names to make it sound better, but it's all the same. It's all the hair stroke simulation. So I tattoo the stroke sideways. I follow the hair growth. Such procedure would take approximately one hour to do and everything will stay on the skin up to three to four years. As you can see already, we're almost done. It looks very nice. After the first application, uh, you will need to come back after a month so I can double check on what I did the first time. And if we find that some spots are a little better than some others, we can always add a little bit more. I also like to go fairly thin to medium the first time and a month later if you find that it's too thin we can always add more. The last check, she's happy.
That's good.